deadly. I was wondering why I never got any of these. Go get great. Pandas. Everyone in this house is pandas. And then you've got me. F***ed up, muted, mutated lion. Half crocodile, half lion comes in here and wrecks the place. I would donate a small part of it to the RSPCA and then I would buy my dad a house and, to be honest with you, I would party with the rest. A horse-sized chicken. 100%. This mad, imagine this a huge chicken going around just pecking everyone. And then, if you ran out of like, being funny with it, you could just eat it and you'd never go hungry again. Why the would you want a mini horse? Mini horse. I don't even know why you want a mini horse. It could be quite funny. For what? Ants? I've talked about this millions of times. What superpower would I have? I would love to be telekinetic. I would have the power of telekinesis. Because then I have the power to move everything and myself with my mind. That's how Superman, in my eyes, is the only way he can fly due to gravity being minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So if you had the power of telekinesis, you could fly, you can move, you can do all these things, you can manipulate your own power. And would I use it for evil or good? Well, I'm a mischievous <laughs> but no, I would use it for good. The people that use it for bad are twisted, and I think the world needs more superheroes, real superheroes. Everyone. I would protect everyone. I've had a, a zombie apocalypse dream in here. I've had, a, I've had a zombie apocalypse dream since I am about 10 years old. I have at least once, a, once every two weeks. And what weapon would I use? I would use a sword because you'd never run out of ammo. I would constantly go around chopping people up. To I would, I'd, I'd barricade the house in. You'd be Zombie apocalypse is, is my life, man. I would literally be, I'd be a hero. I would actually be a hero. If a real zombie apocalypse happened, I'd be a hero. The first fellow who ever milked a cow is a creep. Because how do you know the difference between a bull and a cow? How do you know? Has he ever tried to milk a bull? Now there's the creep there. Me being a brother. The beta beta um, brothers and pledges. My God! That was the best day of my life. Of my life. I had them all hated me. I literally had the power to everything up. And if I had more of that power, then guess what? We would have a dope show, I tell you that. A night out in Dublin would have to be with, tell you, I've got to know all these people. And as nice as they all are, they're as dry as I would have to be, it'd have to be Aaron. I think he was the only one in here that I literally, I'm gutted I never got to meet him. Um, because he seemed like a funny already. George Michael. I would love George Michael to show up here because loads of reasons. He's George Michael. Two, he's George Michael. Three, he's awesome. And every bloke, no matter what they say, we all know the words the careless whisper. Uh, I would evict, it wouldn't really matter to me, really to me who I kick out. But I would kick them out and tell you the truth, I wouldn't bring anyone back because they all seem like a pack of boring to be honest with you. Um, I think Big Brother just went with a team of boring time bomb Big Brother experience. Then the only person I felt as though was mad was me and that's what mad people think, isn't it? Um, yeah, I just think that the house is full of boring so it wouldn't really matter who I brought back or who I got, they were still boring. We need new funny in here.